Hello guys, this is Raptamon132 here, and welcome to my blind commentary video special. Um, today, I'm actually, like, I'm sorry, this is not going to be My Little Pony or Star Wars Rebels or Kirby Back at you, or even Sword Art Online. Uh, today, I'm going to be reacting to something a little bit different. This is, the thing I'm going to be reacting to is... Agent Zero. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I reacting to this? Well, to all those who don't, who don't know, uh, there was one uh, blind reactor that sent out a request. His name, you probably know, all know him. He's known as Brony Burning Axe. He's the one with the uh, Pegasus pony that plays with a guitar and lives in the Everfree Forest and how you guys, or shippers, have shipped him up with uh, Co Nature's Fury, but um, I don't go into that shipping nonsense. Well, fan art thing, well, fan art shipping nonsense stuff. But anyway, um, I'm not. If you are, if all of you remember, he actually sent out a video request of any blind reactors who is subscribed to him, which that's what I am, uh, to react to this series. I don't exactly know why he asked, but um, I actually sent a comment to him saying that I would give it a go. So, um, yeah, I'm doing what, uh, Brony, Br what Burning Axe had asked me to do, or whoever blind commentator had subscribed to him uh, to do. So, yeah, so today I'm going to be reacting to... Um, the Agent Zero series, and as far as I know, there is four episodes, which I'm actually going to be putting, I'm going to attempt to do um, three of the episodes, or maybe even four, into one video, so this will probably, this will probably be the longest blind reaction video I probably have ever done so far, but anyway, um, yeah, so anyway, today I'm going to be reacting the first one up is the uh, first uh, is episode one. It's called Zero's Arrival. Interesting. Yeah, so I'm going to watch the series to find out why um, Burning Axe wanted wanted um, me or and anyone any other blind reactor subscribed to him to um, watch it. Oh, and I've um, adjusted the volume too in advance so that I don't so that my voice doesn't get um, overpowered by the volume. I don't want to re I don't want a don't mine at night repeat. So um, I'll just adjust it a little bit more. Anyway, uh, let's get stuck. And yeah. So anyway, without further ado, let us begin the ep let's begin the first episode. Here we go. Nathan mechanic. Machinium, a uh, machinium. Oh, couldn't read it, but couldn't read it properly. Hi, my <coughs> name is. Oh wait, that's classified. Well, you can call me Zero. I'm an agent. I spend my days stopping evil villains from trying to take over the world. The most evil hey, of them hang all on a sec. is Doctor Van Dyke. Fortunately, he's already been taken care of. And I will never see him again. But if by some random annoyance he does happen to show up again, I will Hang be on. to stop him. Is that Burning or Axe himself? Not. Agent Zero. Zero. Get your shit together. We're almost there. <sighs> Fine. Oh my god, I think it is. Agent 99 Agent Zero <laughs> Crash Headquarters Katan's Office
This must be a ha fan-made Halo thing. Where in the holy matrimony have you been? General Catan. Oh. Nice to see you too, sir. And I was on holiday. I've been off my nut trying to track you down for the past six months. Aw, you really do care this... about me. Don't get me wrong. That guy Joe. sounds like Burning I Axe. I'm a flying Sasquatch about you, but you just don't leave work for six months. Hey, you were the one that told me to leave, so technically it's your fault. I don't believe it. I I think that must be Burning Axe. Well, well, actually, it sounds like him, but I think it is because if I remember correctly, he has a uh, another a gaming channel. So, yeah, maybe this is what if that is Burning Axe. This is probably the reason why he wanted uh, blind reactors to react to this. So yeah, I think I figured it out, but um, yeah. Anyway, uh, continue. What? I did? Yeah, remember, you said, Zero, you should take a break from work. There isn't much going on in the agency these days since Dr. Van Dyke was killed. You <laughs> said that, numbnuts. I did? <laughs> well, I, I knew it was one of us that got it right, so I took a break, and now I'm back. <laughs> so, do you have any assignments for me? Yeah, as it happens, I do. Get the hell out of my office, and get me a coffee. Seriously? <laughs> Is that all you've got for me? What in same hell were you expecting? A highly dangerous mission to infiltrate a top secret base surrounded by hundreds of trained individuals ready to fuck your shit up? Well, not anything quite that specific, but <laughs> something along those lines, yeah. <sighs> The reason well, he could have just I was said so yes. Specific is because I just sent agents two and three on that mission. That's them right now. General Katan, sir, can you hear me? Oh, it's Katan. Clear, Agent Tree. Hey, sir, you, seriously, you can you stop calling me that? It's not my fault. I can't say the number three. Three. Oh, whatever. Anyway, me and you should look behind you. Oh, hey, is that Zero? Hey, James. Long time no... Where the hell have you been? <sighs> nice oh. to see you, too. Hey, Olivia. Look who it is. Agent 03. Is that Agent Zero? Where's he been all this time? Is that a guy or a... Hey, or a woman? You. Stop right there! Hey, Olivia. Hey. How you been? Bad guy on your right. Yeah, I Wilhelm Scream. You know, just enjoying the simple life. Hey, dumbasses, this ain't a social call. You can flirt later. What are you talking about, sir? I don't know what you mean. It's all innocent. <sighs> Two, three, I will send for an airship ASAP. Katan out. <laughs> so I think I know the yard. They seemed alright. Zero. Yes, well, sir. I'll explain a little Get later. Get the hell out of my office. Right away, sir. And fetch me that coffee. And hmm. while you're at it, uh, give me a couple of them glazed donuts with chocolate sprinkles. Do not forget the sprinkles. <sighs> yeah. I came back for this. Here's so. And so I say to the. I have to admit that I think I know where the origin of that guy's name, the commander's name, it comes from. Like um, Catan. I actually think his name, he was named after the uh, legend Star Wars character known as Kyle Katarn. You know, former um, Imperial officer, then turned mercenary, and then turned Jedi Knight. Anyway, that's, uh, that's probably what I, what I speculate. But anyway, uh, let's continue. Guy, the fuck are you doing taking orders from a girl? Damn. I wouldn't let a girl order me around. I'd order her around and then bone her whenever I felt like it. As yeah. interesting as this is, Dan, I really don't have the time for a chat. Ralph. I have a lot of calculations to work out. 
You see, I'm making a timeless placement unit in which I will use to go back and forth through- Whatever, dude. That's awesome. Anyways, so the <laughs> guy says to me, I have a girlfriend. Why would I want to bone my secretary? And I say, Good. yeah, but where's the fun in having a girlfriend? All they do is bitch at you for putting your feet on the table and complain when you're playing video games. What you want <laughs> is a bit on the side. A girl you can have sex with when you like and where you like, in a place like a broom closet. <laughs> that is the most sexist story I have ever heard. Ever. <laughs> hey, what can I say? Girls just piss me off. Except Agent 2. Now that's a pair of armored pants I'd love to get into. <laughs> <laughs> you have a seriously sexually perverted mind. Hey, Zero. It's been a while. Where were you? And why are you out of breath? I'm not out of breath. What are you talking about? Yeah, you are. You're breathing heavier than a fat kid with a serious case of asthma who just ran a 24-mile marathon. <laughs> so specific. Ugh. Don't ask, man. Just don't ask. Do you wanna talk about it? No. So, Zio, where have hm. you been? Don't Holiday. blame him. Holiday? Who did you blow to get one of those? That's classified information. And <laughs> another thing. Six months? What did you do in all that time? Um... You know what? I don't really remember, to be honest. I guess I must have had fun, though. Six months is a long time. Hey, man, <laughs> what's the deal? Did you get hit over the head or something? Or were you high the entire time? I don't really remember. Yep, you were high. <laughs> now, high. how have you been? I've never been happier, actually. That's good to hear. Yes. In fact, since you left, I have had a lot less work around here, and my profits have increased exponentially. I haven't had <laughs> to fix any broken equipment. But now, sadly, I fear since you have returned, I may have a lot more work to do and a lot less money. <laughs> but you're here now, so I guess that's that. Thanks, Ralph. I'm so <laughs> glad we could all be honest with each other. I'm glad <laughs> that you're glad. Now, if you will excuse me, gentlemen, I have some mathematical decisions to make. Really? So, why were you out of breath? Huh? What? When you got here, it seemed like you were in a hurry. Okay, I'll tell you, but you can't tell anyone else, okay? Sure, I can keep a secret. What is it? I did hmm. something... Stinky promise. Let me guess. <gasps> you masturbated in the broom closet, right? No? Wh <laughs> Why would that even be a thing? Oh. Oh, uh, never mind. Listen, hmm. just don't ever go in there after midnight. Okay, then... <laughs> Anyway, so, I may have broke the coffee machine. Is that it? Dude, <laughs> I break those goddamn things all the time. I got my dick stuck in one once. Wait, what? what? How did you even- Don't wanna talk about it. Oh... Okay... He... Anyway, the point is, I'm You just took trouble. the words out of my you mouth. You may have broke it. Are you sure? Trust me, it's broken. What happened? Well... Okay, let's see here. The general usually has black coffee, I think. Hmm. Huh? What the Whoa. fuck? So let me see if I got this. You pressed the button, and it exploded. Yeah, weird, right? <laughs> when they said you had an explosive personality, they weren't wrong. <laughs> Good pun. Ah, shit. Listen, Dan, it was good talking to you again, but I gotta run. And in case I don't get out of this one alive, whatever you do, don't drink my last beer, or I will haunt you! Hmm. Dan, I saw you talking to Zero. Which way did he go? He went that way, sir. Okay, thanks. Zero, get back here! I'm gonna tear you a new asshole, you son of a bitch! Oh. <laughs> that beer is totally mine. <laughs> Now I understand why he was, why he was in a hurry. He was running from that, from that Catan fella. <laughs> All this just for a coffee? Man, he must really have a caffeine addiction. Oh, addiction. Anyway, continue. Yes, my new experiment is going according to plan. 
Those Who's this guy? Not know what hit them. <laughs> Dick. Dr. Van Dyke. Um, sir, C can I get you a glass of water? Shut up, you fool! What did I tell you about interrupting me when I'm being evil? Now then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Fuck. You shouldn't be laughing you know like that if well, it hurts your throat. I'll, I'll have that water. I'm sending a distress signal. Now go away, Steve. Ooh, hmm. What's this button do? Don't touch that, you'll break. End of transmission. Oh, I see. Play it again. Of course, sir. Playing transmission now. Does anybody read me? We are stressed. Sir, about you the wanted to see me? There are two of us. Viola, rewind the transmission and leave it at the beginning. Rewinding. Zero, it's your lucky day. It is? <laughs> Did you get me that 3D TV I asked for? No, Bubble Butt. <laughs> I mean, I have a Bubble mission butt. for you. Oh, cool. What's the dealio? Viola, play the transmission. Does anybody read me? We are stranded on an abandoned island. There are two of us. I Sounds like Marvin the Martian. End of transmission. What? Oh, great. Another search and rescue mission. I just love doing those. Well, you better get to work, Zero. <sighs> Fine. I better be getting paid overtime for this. Ah, shut up. <laughs> Wait, sir. I don't even have a location yet. Whereabouts is the signal coming from? Well, if you shut your pie hole, I'll find out. That's odd. I can't seem to track it. Could it be a long-range signal? Could be. I'll get Ralph to have a look. He's the nerd around here. Huh. Oh, and speaking of Ralph, I need you to go see him right away. Why? Don't ask. Just go do it. He'll explain when you get there. Okay, and sir, about the coffee mm. machine, I'm really sorry that I broke it, but you didn't have to break my TV. It had to be done, Zero. It had to be done. No, it didn't. You could have yeah, done something yeah. else, like break one of my arms or a leg, but not the TV. <laughs> oh, trust just be me, glad he Joe. didn't take your life. I would like nothing more than to break every bone in your worthless little body. I but bet. Yes, I bet you I would. You for stuff. What stuff? That's classified information, dingus. But seriously, why the TV? How am I supposed to watch Family Guy now? Zero? Fine. But this TV thing, it ain't over. Hmm. <laughs> well, I want to reply to the signal. So, uh, can you do that thing, uh, the thing that allows me to talk and then have them listen to my voice? You mean record, sir? Yeah, that. Recording in three, two, one. This is General Catan of the agency. I have received your signal, and have dispatched an agent to get you off the island. Hmm. I have hey, a feeling Ralph, that this uh, could be a setup. Oh, hey, there you are. Listen, the general said you wanted to see me. What's this about? Um, Ralph? What in the... Thank you very much, you have helped me test my latest gadget. Ralph? What? What the? What was that? It's called the hologram. Cool. Mm. How does it work? Well, it projects an image of. Yeah, I was just kidding. I don't really give a shit. What I was wondering though is what you wanted to see me about. So the general asked me to put you through basic training again. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> You've been gone for six months, Zero. I need to reevaluate your combat skills. Trust me, I'm fine. In fact, I'm in great shape. Really? You seem to me like you've let yourself go. Okay, so I put on a few pounds. What's the big deal? Okay, first of all, a few pounds. And secondly, weight can affect your combat efficiency quite badly. 
It is always important to keep in good shape. Dude, I've never been in good shape. I know. Look, be <laughs> honest. The only reason I'm doing this stupid training thing is punishment from General Katan, right? Yeah. I thought as much. Well, <laughs> I guess I'll give it a shot. Follow me. So basic training, huh? This is the target practice room. Hmm. Sniper rifle, handguns. Grenades. <laughs> Bombs. Wait, why aren't we doing the target practice in the simulation room? The data file for target simulation has been damaged, so this will have to do for now. We are working on getting a new one for our new base. New <laughs> base? Am I missing something here? You'll find out soon enough. Alright, I'm ready. What have I got to do here? Okay, you have seven seconds to hit as many targets as you can. So lowest score to clear this stage is 10. You hold the top score at 18. Are you ready to begin? Just do it. Hm. I see. He'll probably fail. Three, two, one, go. Good hit. Huh. Good hit. He's probably going to score the highest. Hmm. 19. A new personal best. Not to mention you still hold the record for the top score. Who's in second? Agent 2 is in second place. That's hardly surprising. She's so damn good with that sniper rifle. Now, we go to the simulation room. Really? I'd like to see what the simulations room, room is like. Ladies first. Gentlemen, just before. Hmm. Fuck. <laughs> that was a good comeback. Gentlemen, just before. Whoa. Wow, so that's the simulation room. You're familiar with the simulation room, yeah? Holy Namek! This place has changed a lot! Holy yes. Namek! I made a few Dragon Ball Z pun! Here and there. Yeah, no shit! Viola, spawn level 2. Of course, Ralph. Anything for you, my sexy German friend. Um, what the what fuck? did she just say? Like I said. A few modifications here and there. That was actually unexpected. There you go, my master. May I pleasure you now? Nine, nine, I'm good. Wait, what? A few <laughs> modifications. Dude, that's just creepy. The next stage is simple enough. Run the course creepy the but funny. Time. The lowest possible time is one minute. The fastest time is 33.2 seconds, which was done by Agent 3. Your fastest time was 47.4 seconds. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Three, <laughs> two, one, go! It's 
really interesting how they did this. Damn Play it. with computers. Fuck! I regret every crumpet I've ever eaten. <laughs> hey, what am I saying? I love crumpets. <laughs> I see. He seems to be doing pretty good. Not good, your 52.1 seconds. Can I try it again? No. Viola, change the course to level 3. Changing. What? Level 3? Those don't look good. Now in this stage, you must- Yeah, yeah, I remember this one. I gotta reach the other side of the room without being hit. Right? Yes. If you get hit, it's a three second penalty. Well, let's see if I can't change that. Three, two, <clears throat> one, go. Ow! Shit! Can I try it again? <laughs> I wasn't ready. You must always be ready for combat, Zero. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just do the damn countdown. Three, two, one, go. God damn it! Oh, hell yeah! I only got hit once! Ow! Son of a bitch! <laughs> damn it! It's impossible. No one can avoid those damn bullets. Believe it or not, Agent Van Van's made it through there without being hit. Yeah, I can imagine. So, how did I do? Did I pass? Well, apart from stage 2 being your slowest time yet, everything else was outstanding. So, you pass with flying colors. Unfortunately. Why unfortunately? The General wanted you to fail the test. <sighs> Why does he still hate me? I don't think he hates you, it's just you have a lot of shoes to fill. When Agent Vaughn left the agency, everyone thought you were taken over as the best agent, but we all knew he was the best. Wish I could have met him. He sounds so awesome. He was. <laughs> he was not only the best, but he was our leader until Katon became the new general after he disappeared. And about the general, he will come around just as the others did. I don't think anyone really liked you when you first joined. Something suspicious. Great. Thanks. You certainly have a way with words, Ralph. I do my best. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm gonna get some better company. And a sandwich. Do you ever stop eating? Shut up! Leave me <laughs> alone! <laughs> Phew, that training really took it out of me. I'ma go on a diet. <laughs> nah, screw that. Food! Anyway, there is a wide selection of other videos on this channel. Try checking out those I thumbnails see. over there. And if you look below me, you'll see a link to the next episode. But, be warned, the link will not be available until two weeks after this video is aired. The link will not be available until then. Now, uh -huh. if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go lie down. Ow. Well, what do I have to say about this? I have to admit, it was actually very interesting. Like, it's very creative how, um, people... How many people can animate things with computers? Like, I can see that this um, series is probably based on the Halo series. Because, you know, there's the uh, the Halo... Like, A Agent Zero is like this um, Halo-type character. And, uh, interesting enough, I think... Like, like I mentioned earlier, I think I know the reason why... Uh, Burning Axe wanted me to, wanted others to react to us like to this series. It's because he vo he's actually the voice of the main character, and I know this because of um, you know because Agent Zero's voice is exactly the same as um, as Burning Axe. So yeah, Burning Axe, if you're watching this. This is rather interesting, and it's cool that you're doing voice that you're doing voices for this uh, fan-made series. 
anyway, uh, so yeah, that's this is uh, episode one down. So I'm going to get on to uh, episode uh, two. I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, just got uh, set up for the next one. Um, next one up on this Agent Zero series is episode two, known as Hair Dye. Or Hair Dryer. I sh yeah, not Hair Dye, Hair Dryer. Yeah, sorry, I was rushing through uh, r trying to read it or something. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, it's on to the next episode, known as Hair Dryer. Here we go! Nathan Machina Mania, I think that's what it says. G.H. Nathan. That's who does, um... Yeah, so now I know who does, um... Who does Agent Zero. Which I think that is, um... That is you, Burning Axe. So now I know your other channel. So yeah, interesting to hear your performance. So let's hey see guys. Hey. hey. Where were you? Yeah, seriously, you were gone like six months. I was on holiday. I seriously what? don't think oh, that's, that's a nice. woman voicing go? that oh, uh, girl. Hmm. I think it's a, I think you it's a what? bloke. I don't know. How can you not know? Yeah, what well, games? Were you stoned the entire time? I guess so. I mean, what else could it be? Well, it's good to see you again, bro. Yeah, we really missed you at the agency. That's great to know. <laughs> huh? What the heck is that thing? Oh, this? I don't know, man. The general asked us to infiltrate a military operation, and while we were there, I saw this thing just sitting on a table next to some blueprints. Huh. I think I you see. should ask Ralph. He's the expert around here. What do you think it is, Zero? Well, judging by the shape and Could size be a rocket it, launcher. I'd have to say it's some sort of expensive hairdryer. A hairdryer? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I'd put money on it. Okay, you're on. How much? Fifty? How about a hundred? Alright, you're on. Make it two hundred <laughs> if you want. You know what? Let's make it a nice round five hundred. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, man. I don't think it is. So, Olivia, how are you? I'm okay. How's things for you? Eh, it could be. Good, I guess. I mean, Unless it's some military industrial strength hairdryer. Oh, really? Who needs rescuing? Hell if I know, but by the sound of their voices, I can easily see how they got themselves stuck on an island. You wanna go in mid this bit? <laughs> okay, I just hope you're ready to lose a week's wages. I'm not <laughs> worried, but you should be. Bitch, please. Worried ain't even in my dictionary. Ah, interesting. How did you come by this device, Agent 3? I found it whilst on a mission. It was sitting next to some blueprints. Hmm, interesting. I would like to take a look at them. He's going to say it's a hairdryer too. No. Do you need them? Well, no shit, I need them. How am I supposed to tell you what this thing is without blueprints? You're smart. Uh, you just run a few tests or something. I'm sorry. I just simply don't have time right now. Leave it with me, and when I have time, I'll dismantle it and have a good look at it. Could you at least make a guess on what it is? <sighs> Well, judging by its complex shape and its remarkable size, I'd have to say it's a posh-looking hairdryer. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I fucking <laughs> kiss my shiny armored ass, Agent Tree. Seriously, <laughs> can everyone stop calling me that? Zero, I have good news for you. Ooh, That's gonna be a common gag a in this episode. Plasma TV in my room? You're closer to having a smack bottom than that. I located <laughs> the distress signal from earlier. There's an airship waiting for you. Get your shit sorted and get going. Oh, and uh, one last thing. I have a feeling when you get back, uh, we, we're going to need a chat. Uh, so uh, meet me in my office. <sighs> Great. Well, I'll be right there, sir. Do you think you've been needing any gadgets, Zero? 
I doubt it. Good, because you always break them. I just can't afford to keep repairing everything. You know what? On second thoughts, I'll take the most expensive gadget you have. Nah, -uh. no way. Just one <laughs> little gadget. Night. Out of the question. All right, I'll just stick to my usual stuff then. Why would you want to? Like, you have an entire huge arsenal there. Zero, be careful out there. Are you serious? Careful is my middle name. Hmm. Seriously, who the hell left this on the floor? You were <laughs> saying? <sighs> Careful, your I middle name, guys. huh? You wanted to see me, Master? Subject 8. I have a simple task for you, Subject 8. I have a visitor coming here later that I will kill. Meanwhile, I want you to infiltrate the base of the agents. I thought we didn't know where it was. You are correct. But I have coordinates to their new base. I need you to go there and get to know them. Be buddy-buddy with them. You know, get acquainted. Try to become their new friend. I... I can't. What? <laughs> you dare disobey my orders? It's not that. There's just someone there I need to avoid. You mean Catan? I mm. thought you wanted revenge on him. No, not him. Someone else. Listen here. You best listen to me. I can stop your pitiful existence at any point I choose. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Good. Mm. Now leave me. I have work to do. So I take Do it that's the villain? Anything, sir? Yep. Are you sure? Yes. You're definitely positive about that. Pilot? Sir? What is your job? To pilot this heap of crap. Exactly! Now shut up and take off! Yes, <laughs> sir! Asshole. I heard that. <laughs> heard that. That was funny. Shooting witch hats. That's hey, what's Olivia. um. What do you that's think? what we call them. Yeah, you could do with a bit more practice. Oh come on! I'm doing my best to impress you here. The least you could do is you pretend you fancy me. Sorry, I'm already taken. <laughs> By who? That's <laughs> classified information. <laughs> Be honest. Classified, you don't have anyone, huh? and you're too shy to express your feelings about my. Okay. I'll shut up. Hey, hey wise so choice, good look at that dude. Button, <laughs> you mean the hairdryer? For the last time, it's not a hairdryer. Funny, that's not what I heard. What? Yeah, Zero told me Ralph confirmed it was a hairdryer. No, he guessed it was a hairdryer. Anyway, that's not the point. <laughs> After he ran a few tests on it, he said it was an infrared scanner. What's an infrared scanner? I don't fucking know. Ralph did explain, but I may have dozed off in the middle of it all. So, what's he gonna do with it? I'm not sure exactly, but he said something along the lines of making it a multi-purpose device. Like, um, a Swiss Army knife? Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. <laughs> when you see Zero, tell him about that weapon. <laughs> you mean a hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a hairdryer. <laughs> That's gonna be a common gag in, uh, oh, yeah. Sir, in this episode. For the tenth time. No! Well, how long is this gonna take? It'll take as long as it needs. Oh, we're here! Okay, great! Land us. That's not such a great idea. If I fly any closer, they'll track us with that big round <clears throat> screen that goes beep. You mean the radar? You mean the radar? <laughs> yeah. You took it right out of my mouth. So, how long have you had your license? Wait, you need to have a license? 
Well, no shit. How the hell did you get hired? Well, I was just standing there and this guy walked up to me and he says, Excuse me, how would you like to be a pilot? Yeah, okay. I've always wanted to be a pilot. The pilot. Well, that's great. Uh, just a quick question. Do you have any uh, piloting experience? Uh, no. Great, you're hired. What? <laughs> like yep. Don't I need some sort of license? Not for this mission, you won't. What will I have to do? <laughs> Don't worry. All will be explained later. He also told me to throw you out when we get there. Yep. That's General Katan, alright. Hmm. Hmm. Trying Wait, an event to kill him, huh? Say... Oh, an attempt. Asshole! Sorry! He's paying me! <laughs> Ow. Hmm. This Catan uh, really has he issues. Broke my dick. Uh, <laughs> nope. It's penal okay. fracture. There's no you way you could fracture your sucked. penis unless with hmm. sex or so if you place, are having huh? a boner Doesn't and you hit like the ground. Island, that's for sure. Looks like a base of some kind, but there's no snipers or turret defenses. What gives? Was the general high when he sent me here? Also, who the hell am I talking to? Yourself. Or the audience, in this case. Yes, General. I would like for you to shut down for a while. I'd rather be left alone with my thoughts. Is anything the matter, General? I just have a lot on my mind right now, is all. Yeah, I'm trying to kill you him. Leave me be. Would you like me to shut down all systems, General? No, just yourself, if that's alright. Certainly, sir. And I hope you feel better soon. Huh. Likely. When, um... He'll probably feel better when, I'm when Agent Zero is dead. Zero. I just hope Van Dyke keeps his mouth shut. Hmm. <laughs> Who's there? Agent. Agent who? Uh, wait a minute, did I just... Uh... Agent Zero. Yeah. Amazing you didn't just shoot him. So, what do you think of my new helmet? It's the same as your other helmet. Yeah, well, we work for Van Dyke and his dress code is everyone wears the same helmet. But, hmm. here's the thing. This helmet has a built-in cooling fan. Yeah, so does everyone else's. Wait, seriously? Yeah, it's a standard issue. There wasn't one in my last helmet. Maybe you're not classified as a standard issue soldier because you suck so bad. <laughs> I do not suck. You're easily the worst aimer here. Oh, please. I can shoot the dick off an Asian man from 30 meters away. That's He's gonna prove so the, amazing, his man. point. Oh, screw you, dickhead. Good one, huh? Did you come up with that one yourself? Yeah, just like I came up your mom's vagina last night. Wow, Ooh. a mom joke. Like I haven't heard those over 9,000 times. Huh. He just used a uh, Dragon Ball Z now, quote. I'll never have to hear it again. Oh yeah, by the way, put your goddamn hands up. You won't shoot me. I'ma do it. Don't do it. I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, my manhood. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, freeze. Ooh, knife in the head.
So I wonder who's going to be the next victims. <laughs> Come on, shoot him. Bang! Shoot him in the head. Son of a bitch! Hmm. Ow! What the fuck? Why'd you hit me? Ow! Jesus! <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus! Ah! Fuck! Hey, can you hear something? Ow, what? Ow. I said, can you hear something? Dude, I can't hear shit in this helmet. Oh, really? I shagged your wife. What? Oh, so you heard that? What? <laughs> I really want to hear what you want to hear, don't you? Yes, these are new shoes. No, I thought die from a grenade than talk to you. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Kaboom. Bet that was a part of the puzzle. Well, that's an issue. Yeah. Hmm. How are you gonna jump across that? If you're a Jedi, you could just jump, force jump your way th over. Aha! Looks like I'm not out of the fight just yet. Crash side headquarters, Katan's office. Wonder what he's up to this time. General, I was wondering if. Not now, Ralph. General, what's the matter? Nothing. I, uh. I'm busy as all. So what do you want? I was wondering if you could take a look at the list I made for equipment we're going to need for our new base. Can it wait? I'm busy at the moment. How is your getting on? Is he almost done with his mission? Nah, and I doubt he'll ever be finished. Sir, I hope you don't mind me asking, but you seem a little off lately. Are you sure there's nothing going on? Look, stay out of it! Oh, uh, oh, uh, sorry, Ralph. I, uh, I'm not sure what came over me. <laughs> it's fine. But if I can help with anything, just let me know. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. Hmm, that's all. The general never says sorry or thank you. Something is definitely up. I see. So he's only being... So his niceness and cons and wow. remorse for what he says that was one is, a bad, a is a bad Until sign, now, I huh? I realize how badly out of shape I am. <sighs> <laughs> Too many crumpets. Yeah, you know, out of shape. Hey, Bluebo! Oink oink! Too many crumpets! <laughs> Quick stab. Wonder who just shot him. Hey, isn't that a bad guy? Sir, are you seeing this? Yes, Zero, I saw it. Who was that guy? I don't know, but he didn't seem too friendly. He just saved my life, and you're saying he doesn't seem too friendly. What are you, high? 
Just get on with the mission. Mm. Fine. Zero out. Something's definitely going up. Wonder if that uh, guy's like an anti-hero or something. Where have you been? I had something to take care of. Agent Zero is on his way here soon, and you cannot be here when he arrives. Yeah, I know. I'm going. I want you out of sight while he's here. After I'm finished with him, we'll discuss the plan. You got that? Loud and clear, sir. Now leave! <laughs> Outside base, huh? Yeah, still target practice with witch with uh, witches hats. Oh, come on, Olivia. Let me. I know that they're not uh, real witches hats, like a like a witch or wizard, but um, it's what they call those markers on the uh, road, or at least that's what we call them in Australia. We call them witches hats, but. Um, but in places like uh, the UK, America, Canada, you probably, or wherever country you're from, you probably call them different. You probably just call them uh, safety safety markers or something like that. Anyway, uh, sorry to pause. Uh, continue. Have a go. <laughs> you, that's a joke. You can handle this weapon if you try. <laughs> I can handle any weapon. I have quite a monster of a weapon myself. Was that supposed yeah. to be a sex joke? Because that was in poor taste. I could teach you a <laughs> thing or two about handling big weapons. Okay, show me what you can do. Really? Let's go to the broom closet. I was referring to my sniper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give it a shot. Be careful, it's heavy. It's all about the girl, baby. You're so lame. <laughs> it's gonna this. blow him back. Yeah, it's gonna push him right back and make him slam against that wall. Just watch. Oh, make him shoot so poorly that he can't... Making him have worse aim than a, than a stormtrooper. Wow, nice miss. You know, you're almost as bad as Zero with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I'm still incredibly good looking. Compared to what? Oh, shut <laughs> up. Idiots! How are they overpowered by a couple of untrained buffoons? Hmm. Where do you think you're going? Nowhere, sir. I just thought you might like to be alone. Oh, really? No, wait! You're right! I do want to be alone! Huh. <laughs> That's what you get for sending me garbage! Never send a lackey to do an evil genius's job. I'll hmm. find some guards worthy of my time. Or you could do it yourself, because as you know, if you want something done, you got to do it yourself. Or you Shall want something done right, you do it yourself. Wait, seriously? This is the place? That seems to be where the signal is coming from. Yes. I thought they said they were stranded on an island. This is no island. Could be a trap. Don't say that. Very but, good. But who by? What even is this place? There's guards all over the place, but there doesn't appear to be anyone in charge. I, uh, I have to go somewhere. Ralph, hold the fort while I'm gone. But General, sir, where are you going? I just got shit to do is all. Let me know when Zero is on his way back. Ralph, speak to me, buddy. He's going to... Here? And if I'm not too much mistaken, yeah, I ate the like enemy. Computer. Huh, no, really? I thought it was a giant refrigerator. I'd say what you're looking at seems you're running a simulated program. But for what purpose? I'm not sure. 
Simulated? Freeze, dirtbag! Don't move! Uh-oh. He's wait, caught. Wait. What? I need to do an outro for this episode. Oh, oh my god. So, yeah, could can I just, uh, like, if you could just, I mean... Okay, fine. But don't you even think about moving. Thanks. You're a star. Okay, I don't have much time to explain, but if you want to see more stuff on this channel, go click those <laughs> thumbnails over there on the left side of the screen. Also, normally there would be a link to the next episode at the bottom of the screen, but YouTube uh -huh. decided to be a gluttonous pile of fuck and make it so I can no longer put annotations on my latest videos. So, sorry about that. Now then, where were we? I was holding you at gunpoint. Oh yeah, please continue. <laughs> Grr. Well, what do I have to say about this? This is rather interesting. I have to say it's rather interesting. And I even suspect that um, that Catan, as far as I, as what I can see, I have a feeling that this Catan is probably aiding the enemy. Yeah, he's probably a turncoat. And as for the other guy that's um, the trustworthy servant of the um, enemy, I think he's probably secretly turning code against him too. You know? That's, um, yeah, well, that's what I actually think so far. And I actually see a lot of funny gags in this. So, yeah, pretty good. Anyway, uh, that is episode two, like episode two out, and now I'm on to episode three. So I'm going to get set up and get, get ready f for the next one. See, I'll be right back. Right guys, I'm back, and I'm back with the uh, third episode. It's now on to episode three. Episode three of Agent Zero. Season 1. The episode's called Betrayal. Judging from the title, I'd say that all the truth comes out and the, you know, Catan will most likely be, will be a traitor and, and that, and I have a feeling that that guy, um, like that guy that was, um, that snipered out that soldier in the last episode is most likely going to be a turncoat on the um yeah on that um so evil genius guy forgotten his name anyway uh enough chit chat let's uh, get on to episode three here we go Nathan Machina Mania. I you think heard that's me. What... I said freeze and get those hands up. <laughs> that's it. Nice and slow. Huh. Good shot. What? You? <laughs> yes, me. I've been expecting you, Agent Zero. Wh what? Oh yes, it was all a part of the plan. What plan? The plan to get you here. There is no plan. I was sent here by General Katan, and he has nothing to do with you. Oh, oh yes, me? he does. And you're so sure of that, are you? All right, you need to start. Yep, I thought it you're was. Not making any sense? I made a deal. A deal that would bring you here to me. Your general sent you here because I told him to. Hmm. Just as I thought. Can anybody explain to me why I'm not in the least surprised about this? Oh yes, that's his name, uh, Dr. Thorndike. 
<laughs> no. No, you're lying. The only one telling lies is your general. He's the one keeping his little secrets from you and your pitiful friends. What do you mean? What secrets? <laughs> you'll never know because soon you'll be dead. How did you survive anyway? The last time I saw you, you fell a hundred feet to your death. There's no way you survived. <laughs> oh, trust me. I have my ways. Trust you? <laughs> oh, that's rich. You're nothing but a scumbag liar. General Katan would never betray me or any of his agents. Oh, it's yes, the first he would. time anyone has heard about your survival. As far as the general is concerned, you're still dead. Nausea. I knew of Van Dyke's survival. And so did everyone else. You knew? Yes. We all did. We were told by General Katan in a meeting just a few weeks ago. Why didn't anybody tell me? I guess we just assumed you knew. But hmm. you got back, you went straight to Katan's office. I'm surprised he didn't tell you. No. No, he didn't. It hmm. just goes to show you can't trust anyone. Not even your own general. Not hmm. telling me about That's your survival is one thing, but betraying me? I don't believe that for a second. I too find that hard to believe. So you want your proof, do you? Step aside. I'll show you how trustworthy your general actually is. Now, do you remember what we planned? Yes. You're going to unjam that distress signal, and I'll tell Zero to track it down. Yes. And when hmm. he falls into my little trap, I will kill him. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Don't fuck with me, Katan. You know that if you do, I will tell all of your Conrads your secret. I said I'll do it, so you don't have to worry about that. Just I wonder what's um. I beg of you. You know, you would make as a I wonder great what his secret hatred. is. <laughs> that traitorous asshole! What is he hiding? Tell me! Never! <laughs> oh, I hate it when he laughs. <laughs> Well, just goes to show, don't trust anyone that has a that has a helmet on that looks like an Imperial Stormtrooper. Which that's what I'm gonna say is that Katan's uh, helmet looks like a Star Wars Imperial Stormtrooper. <clears throat> Hey, sir. I've been looking for you. Me and Olivia got back from our mission. Sorry I didn't come to see you sooner. We found a device on the mission. I grabbed it before I left. I took it to Rav and he said it was just a hairdryer. But he worked his magic and now it's an infrared scanner. Yeah, I know. I don't yeah. know what it is either. Um, General? James, have you ever made a mistake? Like... A life-changing mistake that has hunted you down and took a bite out of you? He's well, gonna kill him. I, uh... No. Not really. Why? What's the matter? <sighs> hmm. He's beginning to feel the remorse. Well, I think. Was that the general? Where is he going? Maybe he's gone to find you a sense of humor. <laughs> James? Nope. I don't know. Oh, I have a feeling I don't think he's remorseful for what he's done. You know? So I take it those guys I'm supposed to be rescuing are all part of this stupid plan. Actually, no. Those idiots were the only part of his plan that wasn't orchestrated. Wait, what? So, who are they? Meh, just a couple of ex-employees I found slacking off on the job one day, so I decided to leave them on an island. Okay, <laughs> but what I don't get is, if they're on an island, then why did the distress signal leave me here? Did you divert the signal or something? Good theory, but you're wrong. Then what? Zero. Not now, Ralph. Hold on. 
you need to hear this. Okay, what? I've been running an analysis of Van Dyke's computer, and I wasn't wrong. What do you mean? Remember I said it was running a simulated program? Yeah. I couldn't have been more right. It appears to be running a layer of multiple systems, generating what appear to be a series of games. Games? What kind of games? It has everything from sports and athletics to simulated war games and even Pac-Man? That's right! It's still in the early development stages, but I'm in the middle huh? of testing it. I, I don't care about all that. Just tell me where those guys are. I am telling you. Steve and Carlos are not on an island. They just think they are. So, where are they? Are you stupid or something? I just told you where they are. I am telling you. There, Steve I've got a Carlos signal. That's Van Dyke. Yeah, but who's that next to him? I don't know. What the hell is going on? What? No, you didn't. You just kept going on about some stupid game simulator. My simulation needed test subjects. Lab rats that were idiot enough to believe it was a real environment. Huh. Steve and Carlos are the test subjects. Decided to join us. I see you made it off the island in one piece. Okay, you need to explain. Yeah, what did you mean by we're in a simulation? <laughs> oh, so you heard. One of those guys know. really sounds well, like Marvin the Martian. You know, the Looney Tunes a Marvin. Simulation I made called the Van Dyke Games, a system which is designed to train my soldiers into being super badasses. <laughs> also, I rather enjoy gambling. So I designed a tournament system, where I can put my toughest team of soldiers through the simulation and bet on the winners. This simulation would have gone untested, but I found a couple of brain-dead incompetents to test it out for me. Thanks to you two, I now have all the data I need to finally start the Van Dyke Games. <laughs> the last three years of our lives were just a game to you? You're sick. No, wait! I almost forgot the best part. You see, it may have been three years for you, but in the outside world, it's just been a mere <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Uh-uh-uh! I wouldn't do that if I were you. <sighs> Fine. I don't believe <laughs> you. You're saying this is a simulation? That's the biggest bunch of bullshit I've heard all day! Yeesh, what is it with people not believing me today? I guess you just have an untrustworthy essence about you. <laughs> if it will entertain your simple mind, I can prove it's a simulation. Have you ever wondered, Steve, why you're able to build anything you want from regular household appliances? Well, I thought I was just super talented. And you, Carlos, have you never wondered why you're suddenly a lot smarter having been on that island? Where are you going with this? Hmm. The program I'm currently running amplifies a particular ability in each subject. Steve, you're a creative person in the real world, and so in the virtual realm, your ability to create is amplified tenfold. And you, hmm. Carlos, you're a smart individual, thus making your mind greater than ever before. I no. see. No, I still don't believe you. Believe what you want. I don't care. Hey, Van Dyke, I have a question. Why is it whenever we say the word f it gets bleeped out? Hmm. Is that part of your game too? It's part of the system, yes. But I never needed it for the purpose of just a mere game. W what do you mean? Hmm. You'll love this. As well as sitting back and watching you two argue day and night, with the cameras all over the system watching you, I decided to start a TV series and make a bit of money from it. What are you saying? You mean what? we're actors? Yes, natural actors. You weren't reading off of a script exactly, but your natural comedy led to me making several million credits off of your talents. <laughs> You're famous, you know. Ooh, I've always wanted to be famous. Or well, when you say watching all the time, you don't mean all the time, right? <laughs> you mean all your times with Dr. Fuzziness? 
Yes. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I have footage. Here's a perfect example of you sleeping with your teddy bear. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 That's enough! I've had enough of you, Van Dyke. I'm coming for you, so you better watch your back. Oh, I'm absolutely quaking in my evil boots. Hmm. Just you wait. <laughs> oh, what a shame. He appears to have hung up on me. You're a terrible human being, Van Dyke. Oh, but I wasn't the only one laughing, was I? Yeah, I couldn't help it. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling. Now then, down to business. It's about time I finally killed you. Sir, what do you want? I have a message from Commander Tark. Commander Tark? Already? He has the assassin on board. Apparently, he wants his money. Well, tell him he'll get his money when I'm finished here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Drop yeah. it. Hey, can someone send me in a couple more guards? Both your yeah. weapons. This pistol's rubbish. You should just hire guards that aren't the equivalent to stormtroopers. I yeah. said. Drop it! Fine. Didn't like the pistol anyways. <laughs> there. You happy now? I won't be happy until you're dead. Wait, wait! Uh, don't I at least get uh, one last request? <laughs> hmm. Come on. Just one thing. <laughs> Fine. But I'm not taking any unusual requests. I just have one question for you, and that's it. Alright. But you have one minute. Your time has already started. All I want to know is, why do you want to kill me so bad? Because <laughs> I'm fucking evil! <laughs> but you went to all the trouble of getting my boss to send me here. Now, from what I know of you, <laughs> you'd prefer to get your revenge on me by yourself. Hmm, you know me very well, Agent Zero. More than you can imagine. Very well, I'll tell you. This matter of killing you was very urgent. I really? Need all of your agents to see you die. It's all a part of my grand scheme, really. You would die by my hand, and your friends mourning the loss of your death would be too occupied to stop me from my master plan. And what, master may plan. I ask, is your master plan? That's you my see, question. I was planning on letting you in on that little secret after you were dead. But I'd be dead? And generally, corpses don't have very good hearing. I've answered enough of your questions. And by my watch, you should already be dead. So, time to say goodnight. Ah, you're here. You're just in time to watch me kill Agent Zero. Watch carefully, boys. This is how you kill a living legend. Hmm. What are you doing? You dare defy me? Hmm, would you say that we defied him, Carlos? Well, I wouldn't really say that, ha. Steve. All we ever did was just stand so, around and talk. So, disguise. What? How did you... But you, you were... Uh, uh, how did you escape? It was all Carlos's big idea. Yes, hmm. I knew that all hard drives had a weak spot in them. Yeah, so your computer's drive shouldn't have been any different. Oh, and how right I was! I shot the weak point of the hard drive to overload its systems. Then it teleported us here. Hold on, how did you know it would port you here and not kill you? We didn't. Carlos just took a chance. Huh. I mean, YOLO, right? Then, all we did was knock out two guards and steal their armor. That part of the plan was Steve's idea. Then luckily, someone came up to us and asked us to follow him, so we did. Then we knocked him out. And here we are. Hmm. Oh, you insolent. You ruined everything. Don't even think about it. 
<laughs> What's so funny? Why you? You're funny. You make me laugh. <laughs> Enough! <laughs> After we're done here, you're coming with me. There's a lot of people in high places I'm sure will be glad to know that you're being kept under high security. Why not just <laughs> kill me and be done with it? That's not the way I do things. I'm willing to give anyone a chance. Even you. <laughs> nice speech. But you seem to be forgetting just one thing, Agent Zero. It would be his downfall. What's that? I'm Dr. Van Dyke. What just happened? Where did he go? It looks as though he used the teleport. Damn it! Can you track his position? No, it's impossible for me to track faster than I travel. Teleportation is beyond <laughs> our technology. I'm not sure how Van Dyke got a hold of it. But with that kind of tech, I don't think they're ever going to win. Well, this is going to be difficult. send for an airship and find the general. Hmm. Primary Station X, huh? <laughs> Look at that base. Looks like something out of Subnautica. Except more in space. Sorry, I'm late, Commander. Ah. I trust your project was a success, Van Dyke. Commander Tark. No, it wasn't. But I'll have my day. Just see if I don't. Man, by the way, you got a visitor, man. He's one about his pay. Yes, yes. I'll deal with him. Hmm. Tell me! Listen, Zero, I... No, you're not gonna worm your way out of this. I wanna know the truth. Oh, and here come the General's favorite agents, yeah. What is going on? Don't act like you're surprised. They don't know anything. Leave them out of it. Zero, what happened? You're never like this. Ask him. Hmm. Ask your General. Sir, what's all this about? Zero seems to think that I betrayed him. Oh no, oh no you don't. Don't try to turn this around on me. You knew the Van Dyke was still alive, and you sent me there because you made a deal with him. I don't believe it. Is this true? It's true. But yeah. I had to do what he said. He was blackmailing me. Yeah, that's right. You have a secret that no one can know. Now, I would just love to know. What is so secret that you have to sacrifice one of your own agents? Zero, stop this. Let's just forget it. Forget it? He tried to kill me! He betrayed me! Yeah, and you're still here, aren't you? Well, yeah, but aren't you just the least bit curious as to what he's hiding? Look, Zero, I had no choice. So you keep saying. But hmm. I've yet to hear a good enough reason. I can't say. Fine. I quit. <gasps> what? You can't quit. I don't know about you, James, but I, for one, would rather quit than work for a heartless, betraying liar! Hmm. True. Or you could have just blown the General's head off. Would you mind telling me what that was all about? James, just leave it. All you need to know is I did it to protect you all from a horrible truth. I may have sent Zero to his death at the hands of Van Dyke, but I had full faith that he would come back from his mission in one piece. He's our best agent. If you can forgive me for what I did to Zero, then it would make forgiving myself a lot easier. I forgive you, and I won't ask what it is you're so bent on hiding, but with all due respect, sir, I have lost a lot of respect for you. Hmm. I understand. I don't expect to be treated fairly in all this. Now, Get after Zero and try to talk him around. Yes, sir. I still don't trust him. I hope you understand why I had to do what I did. I understand completely. And I don't think it's fair that you keep up these lies. I will do what it takes to keep this secret for as long as I can. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job, sir. But you do need to tell them. You know why I can't. If I tell them what I did, they'll never forgive me. 
I forgave you. Yeah, but you were there. You saw how it happened. Everyone makes mistakes, sir. Stop. Don't try to make me feel any better about what I did. I can never forgive myself. Never! Hmm. She probably knows something about him that the others don't. I'm not sure I understand. Why did you give me double the money we originally agreed on? I assume you have another job for me. Either that, or you're just feeling generous. Mm. The assassin. I have another mission for you. And if you succeed, I shall double your reward. Do we have a deal? Just tell me where to shoot. Excellent. Agent Zero won't know what hit him. <laughs> really? Area? Or oh, I assume that's what it says. Looks like some kind of club. I hope you enjoyed that last song, ladies and gentlemen. Now, here comes a classic. Yeah, looks like some kind of, uh, some kind of nightclub. If you just talk to him, he can explain. What? So I can be fooled in some more of his bullshit? No thanks. Mm. He explained to me when you left that he knew you'd survive your encounter with Van Dyke. He said you're the best agent at the agency. Well, he would say that, wouldn't he, to worm his way out of it? Hey, bartender, get me another double. Right now. Okay, but when you black out, you're mine, bitch. Come on, bro, just come back to the agency. No, if you want to fall under his bewitching spells of bullshittery, that's up to you. Leave me out of it. I'm not being dragged down to the bottom of the the place where you, the stuff is, right? Hmm. What if I told you the general was going to buy your brand new TV to apologize? Wait, wait, wait. Seriously? He actually said that? Yeah. You mean the 70 inch plasmas? Uh, 80 inch 3D plasma. Well, you know what, James? After careful consideration, after he's careful drunk as he's pissed as a skunk. After careful thought, I've decided that I maybe might maybe forgive Katan, possibly. So you're coming back to the agency? Yeah, but I better be getting that 18-inch plasma TV 3D. <laughs> Don't worry, bro. Everything is in order. You said what? Just go along with us. Oh, uh, hey there, Zero. Uh, so I hope you can forgive me. Yeah, I am forgave you. I said that already, Sage and he's, he's seriously pissed How as a skunk. Hey, sir, is that TV here yet? No, not yet. I have to order it. Sounds top. Anyway, night, guys. I need to go to bed now. Uh, make sure to clean the front door I threw up on it. Hmm. Also, Zero, before you touch any of those bed sheets, get your metal keister in the shower. You smell like 300 pounds of burnt shit. Now, hmm. where am I gonna find an 80 inch plasma TV? Oh, it has to be 3D as well. 3D? Do I look like I pull credits out of my ass? <laughs> then they give you a bad eyesight. Uh, wait a minute. They give you bad eyesight. <laughs> I'll order one right away. Oh, you fucking bastard. My work I here is done. Hey, James, what'd I miss? 
I told you, never trust anyone that wears a Stormtrooper-like helmet. Well, I'm glad you asked. I had a foursome with my right hand, a box of tissues, and guess what? A bottle of lube. <laughs> oh, you fucking pervert. I can't believe Zero got the upper hand on me yet again. I will destroy that bumbling buffoon if it's the last thing I do. Oh, it's you. Well, if you enjoyed this absolutely diabolical video, then go check out those others over there. And don't forget, after this video is two weeks old, the link below me will become available when you click it. It will transport you to the next episode in the series. And if you don't watch it, then I will rip out your intestines and force feed them to you. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see you try it. Oh, um, well, I have to be going, I guess. But don't forget to watch the next episode, or I'll kill you all! Well, this was actually awesome too. You know, and, um, you know, I knew that the uh, general Katarn is, like, is a, uh, a ba is a liar and a backstabber. Because, you know, I've always, because, you know, it's like I always said, never trust anyone who wears a, who wears a helmet that looks like an Imperial Stormtrooper. Because, you know, Agent Katarn's um, helmet literally looks like an Imperial Stormtrooper. But anyway, that's just my opinion. So, well guys, uh, that is three episodes down. And, yeah, and I have to say, um, Burning Axe, if, like Brony Burning Axe, if, um, if you're watching this, I want you to let you want to let you know that it is really good and you actually have a really really interesting uh, voice for uh, Agent Zero because you know I can see that you're that you probably have an ambition to try and do voice acting so yeah this is really interesting so um, I think you might have some potential there and I know this because believe it or not I too am hoping to become an actor in live action and voiceover so so yeah, I can actually see potential when I see it. So yeah, if um if you're watching, you have like I'd say you're doing a very good job doing playing this character. And I think this is also your series too, so it's not a bad series. Yeah. Uh I know that there's um another one there, but I but I think I'm going to actually uh stop it like stop it right here I might uh, or I might do a, another reaction to it but um, I'll wait till a few more episodes get made but anyway that's it for Agent Zero I hope you enjoyed my blind commentary reactions to Agent Zero and hopefully I shall get onto other videos as soon as I can when I get the chance and Agent oh and Broniacs, if you're watching, I'm like, uh, you're, this is a really good series, and I can see why you want people to watch this, because, you know, you're part of it, so, yep, I'm probably, I'm actually very glad I bro-hoofed that subscribe button, or that's in your words, on, uh, your chat, on your Brony Burning Axe channel, so I'll look at some, uh, some of your other videos on this, and, maybe do some more reactions to your um, Agent Zero series. But, uh, but to all of you, as usual, until then, thank you all for watching. This is Raptamon132 saying bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.